Mindy, thank you so much for joining us. Always a pleasure. Obviously, you went through a big rebrand in September. People know you as Weight Watchers, but you're here to tell us why you're a tech company. How does tech play into the business that is WW? Sure. Today? What people don't understand is that we truly are a technology experience company with this incredible human-centric overlay. So if you look at our 4.2 million members, they are all engaged with all the assets we have in our app, and that's nutrition, activity, mindfulness with the integration of Headspace, our new rewards program, and very, very important, our digital community, which is so powerful. Um, and what we have said is that our goal, especially with this move from being kind of the undisputed leader in weight loss to now wanting to become everyone's partner in wellness. Um, you know, if you have Amazon for shopping and Netflix for entertainment and Spotify for music, you need WW as your wellness partner. Um, and if you look at just what the tech and product teams have accomplished this year in building a true health and wellness ecosystem that people can have with them, 24 hours a day, it's been very powerful. You're expanding your office in San Francisco. You are expanding the tech team. What will these folks be working on? So we just moved into our whole new offices in San Francisco, which really reflect who we are as a tech and product team. And there are so many avenues of work that are happening right now. And again, if you just look at the last year, we launched Freestyle, which is the best program and most efficacious program in the company's history for eating. We launched FitPoints 2.0, which took the science uh, similar to what we do in nutrition and, provide, and used it for customized activity. We are integrating active audio fitness within our app. We integrated Headspace for content. Um, very excited about our rewards program that has been in work for almost a year, just launched four weeks ago. Doesn't reward you for spending money, rewards you for everything you do on behalf of your health and nutrition, and you win wellness wins. And we're already seeing an increase of 20% of nutrition tracking and 80% of activity tracking. Um, and then Connect Communities just launched in Canada it's going to be rolling out to the rest of the world, and that's for people to be able to find and form. So we have, an, we have a whole universe of activations that not only will happen between now and the end of the year going into 2019 when we really do the big brand relaunch, but even from there, they're constantly innovating, and we have teams around the world, big teams in New York, in uh, the group out here, we're looking to double. Uh, our tech footprint out here. So uh, it's been pretty exciting. So there was a big run up in the stock and the shares are down significantly since June. What do you think investors aren't getting? You know, we have a lot of new investors, new coverage, and I think it's a matter of really educating everyone on the seasonality of the business. And I think that's been the biggest confusion. Mm -hmm. And you really need to look at our member base year on year versus quarter by quarter based on the business that we're in. Because January 1st is the big day. Well, that's certainly, you know, we're kind of wellness 365 now, but there's there's no doubt that January is just Pavlovian. People decide they want to get healthier. Um, but it's important to note that our results this year have been fantastic. Our subscriber base is almost up over 25% even in the last quarter, sales at 17% year to date, um, operating income uh, significantly above where we've ever been. And we've hit every single quarter uh, all time highs for the company. So the team has done an incredible job and it's a matter of just getting people to understand the trajectory of the business. I think the second thing is as much as we've announced um, what has been launched and is launching, the reality is that the true brand launch and everything inherent in what we're going to be offering to the customer is really happening at the beginning of 2019. And that's what we've been preparing for and activating. And what we've already activating, we're already seeing the impact on retention and the impact on recruitment. So uh, you've got some new partnerships. You mentioned Headspace. There's Blue Apron. You've got you know integration with the voice assistants. You know, how do you think this will bring the business forward? So if you look at where we've prioritized, it's will it recruit, will it retain, 
and will it elevate the brand? And when you look at partnerships like Aptiv and Headspace, we're providing even greater value for our members. Similarly with the rewards program, which we know will have an impact on retention. Um, and then certainly with this move from not just being weight loss, but giving people a whole wellness platform, that's a very big recruitment message and allows us to have a much broader range of partners. So what we said is we want to own the healthy kitchen. And so our partnership with Blue Apron, we launched the first W. Freestyle Cafe in Barclay Center with Kat Cora. We have a whole line of kitchen products. Every single food product that we make, you don't eat Weight Watchers food. You can eat anything you want on Weight Watchers. Um, but the food products we make in snacks and things like that have been 100% reformulated mm -hmm. to reflect a healthy living brand. And that will be launched in all our direct channels in January. And then our first branded store for all our products will launch on Amazon at the beginning of February. Now, you're the person who made Home Shopping Network cool. And you signed on big celebrities like Serena Williams and P. Diddy. Who's going to be the next big WW ambassador? I mean, how, how do you improve on Oprah? Yeah, well, there's only one <laughs> Oprah. Let's be clear. And Oprah has been very involved in kind of everything from the brand relaunch and our almost launched at the beginning of the year, big global campaign she will be part of. And then within the next couple of weeks, we're announcing two major global ambassadors, uh, one based out of the UK, he's based in the UK, and one in the US, but they will be featured globally. So those announcements are to come. So what you'll start to see actually starting tomorrow are activations leading up to the big launch of our campaign at the beginning of 19. All right. So the guessing game begins. I know there's been a lot of people <laughs> guessing. Um, I don't want to guess on television. I don't want to offend anyone. But, um, you know, you're also a global company. You're in 11 countries. I mean, are there any plans to expand? Yes. That? So what we've said, you know, when, in February, when we came out with our impact manifesto and our new purpose, we inspire healthy habits for real life. People, families, communities, the world for everyone. And that means the world. So today, about 70% of our business is in North America. Next three largest markets, UK, Germany, France, other markets in continental Europe, Australia, New Zealand. We definitely have a big opportunity and there's a great need um, in both Latin America and Asia. So what we said is we will be doing the strategic work on what market entries will come next and that by the end of 2020, we will start the development in new markets while we're building the markets we're in.